Viral infections are a normal part of being human. If you look at the whole of life, we are constantly being assailed by microbes because if a microbe can make themselves at home in our extremely comfortable bodies and viral infections are common. And to deal with them, we have evolved the most fantastic immune system. Immune system that is intelligent, decision-making, and can single out those viruses, identify them and kill them. So what we need to do with those viral infections is to look after our immune system. So look after the immune system and the immune system will look after you. So the key factors are sugar. Sugar feeds all infections. And if you are eating a diet based on sugars and carbohydrates, then you are providing a glorious substrate for those microbes to make themselves at home in your body. So the starting point is the low carbohydrate, low sugar diet. And then we have to give the immune system the tools that it needs to fight infection. And the most important two tools of all are probably vitamin C and vitamin D. Vitamin C uh, contact kills all microbes and is part of uh, the immune defences. Uh, vitamin D has profound um, immunomodulatory effects on the immune system. And we should all be taking at least five grams of vitamin C every day, at least 10,000 international units of vitamin D every day. And don't think that's a big dose. 10,000 international units of vitamin D is equivalent to about an hour of sunbathing. You know, how much sunshine did primitive man get? He got 12 hours of, of sunshine every day. So 10,000 IU of vitamin D is not a big dose. And importantly, there have never been any side effects, any complications, any problems with up to those levels of dosing. So don't, be, don't think that's a big dose, it is not. And another tool I love to use to reduce the loading dose of virus is iodine. Again, iodine contact kills all microbes. And there's some uh, fabulous work done where an iodine aerosol was used um, in mice who are being exposed to nasty pathogenic viruses, completely protected them from infection. So those are the simple tools. And then on the back of that, of course, there are other things. You know, the immune system needs magnesium, it needs selenium, it needs zinc, it needs essential fatty acids. So we have what I call my groundhog package of supplements. Uh, I call them groundhog regimes because I keep coming back to them over and over and over again. And we should all be doing groundhog basic all the time. And that is um, um, a low carbohydrate, paleo ketogenic diet. Paleo, avoiding grains and dairy products. Ketogenic, low carbohydrate uh, and, and certainly low in sugars. We should be taking a basic package of supplements. And we need those simply because of modern farming methods. There is a one-way cycle of minerals from the soil into plants, into animals, into humans, and then discarded. We are not recycling human compost back onto the soil. And the consequence of that is the soil is becoming progressively deficient in minerals. So study in um, 1916, mineral content of soil about 500 parts per million. Fast forward to um, uh, 2016, now less than 50 parts uh, per million in the soil. So our soils are depleted. So you could be eating the most perfect diet, organic, biodynamic, call it what you like, and you would be deficient in minerals. And if the soil is deficient in minerals, then the plants can't make vitamins well. And so our food becomes deficient in vitamins as well and essential fatty acids. So my view is we should all be taking a basic package with good multivitamin, a good multi-mineral that's got all those minerals in there and some essential fatty acids. Uh, and that done well gets you an awful long way. And then of course, obvious lifestyle things. Sleep is so important. So many people don't get sufficient sleep and renege on sleep. Um, getting one's life balance is uh, right is helpful because being stressed is um, going to be deleterious to our health. So all those very simple things, exercise, sleep, diet, micronutrients are essential to put our immune system in tip-top shape to resist infection. And the important point here is that done well, many people get viral infections and not even know they've had them. And then we have what I call Groundhog Acute. And Groundhog Acute are what we should all be doing in the event of any infection. And we don't have to know what that infection is. Um, it doesn't, you know, we, we, if your one is ill because you've got a urinary tract infection or a chest infection, or you're feeling flu-like and uh, with, with swollen glands and unwell, that means there's a virus or a bacteria trying to get into the body. And in that event, you use Groundhog Acute. And the most important intervention 
Uh, here is vitamin C to bowel tolerance. So I've mentioned vitamin C five grams daily as a very good prophylactic, and that will deal with most acute infections. But if there should be a breakthrough infection despite that, then we take vitamin C to bowel tolerance. Thank you for joining us today at the College of Naturopathic Medicine. Naturopathic medicine is all about asking the questions why. All those remedies are available in nature. They should be available to all of us. Our job is to give you the power to heal yourself, your family, your friends, and then extend that out to the wider general public. So stick with us, look at the resources we have. The answers are there. It's a case of you finding them and applying them to specific problems. Now, if you're interested in any of these subjects, I have prepared a long COVID webinar that uh, CNMM you can access at the link below, which goes into all these things in very much more detail. So perhaps I'll meet you there again.